So here it is, it's early spring, you know, the days are getting longer, it's getting warmer out, and a lot of our trees and shrubs and our perennials are starting to awaken from the winter dormancy. So once they're starting to kind of leaf out and we can see where, if there was any winter damage from, from over the winter. So like for instance, on this hardy fuchsia, I'd gone through and I trimmed this back last fall because it was a large, large shrub kind of fill in this whole area, gave it a big haircut. And now I can kind of see where the damage from winter has gone and where mother nature wanted to take it back to. So we can see that this one is starting to come up from the base. And so these stalks along the top here are, are dead. This is the old last year's foliage. So we can go through and just snip these off and just allow all of this new growth to come up from the base. And then there's another one. This is a hardy toad lily called Tricertus. It's another one that was I chopped back in the fall. And now we can see, since it's coming up from the base, we can see where all of this old foliage is been. So we, once again, we can go through and start removing all of this old foliage from last year, clean it up a little bit. And what that will do is it allows all of this fresh new growth to come in and be big and big and full. So these are some great tips that you can do in your garden this spring with the weather's nice. And so for any other information you want or to learn more about pruning back your hardy perennials, you can go to gardentime.tv.